Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness and how much money it's made at the box office so far. Over its opening weekend, it has made 450 million US dollars worldwide, which sets it up as the 11th biggest box office of all time. Now, this is why it's interesting to the MCU and Marvel, is that they're going to look at how movies are progressing and how they move along. You know, Spider-Man has progressed a lot financially for them, so they continue to make them, and it they continue to push it forward and have that as the front man of the MCU. And Doctor Strange has moved up, and it's gone up from the first one making $650 million uh, in America over its complete run, and this making $450 million worldwide in just its opening weekend. Clearly, the interest level in Doctor Strange has gone up drastically as well, probably with the help of Wanda and, uh, and Elizabeth Olsen playing a massive part in this movie too, but still it's gone up nonetheless. So what that means is that Marvel is going to look at that and go, okay, we need to push Doctor Strange forward. Now, we all know that Doctor Strange isn't technically an Avenger. He fights alongside them, but technically he's not an Avenger. That might change. They might have to push him forward and give him that sort of front man lead role, maybe a bit behind Tom Holland because those movies are huge, but that's usually how they push these things. They, Of course, the movies are going to be good and they want to follow what the comics comic books did, but also at the end of the day, it's still a business and they still need to decide who's going to get more screen time, who's going to have more focus in the Marvel universe, and that ultimately has always been decided by the financial gain. So Iron Man was the biggest financial gain for them, so he was the front man in the Avengers, he was the leader of the whole group. Thor gradually moved up as the interest in his individual movies moved up as well. And Tom Holland obviously started and was just huge from the get-go, and so he was the next in line to start leading the Avengers and leading that Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole. So now, with Doctor Strange doing really, really, really well in the box office since opening weekend, they're going to look to push him forward. Now, another thing I wanted to say about its box office opening is that with Marvel, it's always had that appeal to all age ranges from the ages of five basically up to elderly. Now, this movie definitely wasn't one made for children, but a lot of people wouldn't have known that and said so they would have gone to the movie its opening weekend. And as I've even seen in the cinemas, some kids were getting really scared because they're used to that humor and that, that comedic Marvel movie, whereas this was anything but it was leaning more to the horror side. So I think it had a huge spike in its opening weekend and it's going to dip quite a lot over the next few weekends because people will start talking and share that, okay, maybe it's not for those kids. And I think they knew that, right? So they knew it was going to make a bunch of money opening and it would sort of take a bigger dip than usual in its second weekend and the weekends leading after that. But I don't think they care because they tailored the movie to who they wanted to tailor it to and I think... People are going to go back and see it more than once in the cinema in the age range that enjoys it. And this is why. So it's so different to other Marvel movies. I think people went in expecting something and when they watched it and it was completely different, it catches them off guard maybe. Maybe they didn't like certain bits, but they're still interested. So they're probably going to want to go back a second time knowing what they're going to watch, knowing what it's about, just to see if they really like it or not. And a lot of movie fans who see movies twice anyways will probably go and see this a second time. So that's where they will still make a lot of money. Now, the interest in Doctor Strange has also gone up due to the fact that a lot of Marvel characters have dipped off because their contracts ended and their story ended. You had Iron Man and Captain America. Now what we're seeing is that kind of duo and that chemistry being built between Benedict Cumberbatch and Tom Holland, the way it was between Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans with uh, 
Spider-Man into the multiverse, it was like he, uh, no way home, sorry, Spider-Man, no way home. You saw that connection. You saw them get along and, and he's become a sort of mentor to Spider-Man and helping him out as well. And now in the Doctor Strange movie, you've seen that impact you know you've seen it start making more money and get a lot more interest because the people who watch spider-man would have gone oh i like doctor strange too i like that chemistry let me go watch that and see the impacts of what happened in the spider-man movie and how that's affected doctor strange's world and what he's going to do in his own individual movies so that's a smart thing that marvel has done another smart thing that i like about it and why i think it really succeeded at the box office is because it's horror it's so different to the formula that we've used to seeing of Marvel movies. We're so used to seeing the the easygoing, intense, but still humorous, still comedic. And now this has come in and shaken it up. While it does have humor, it's kind of like a comedic horror film, which Sam Raimi is really, really good at. It's still on the horror side, and so it's so fresh and so new. I think people will really enjoy it. And I think it'll be a bit more polarizing as a film, whereas a lot of Marvel movies have been everyone enjoys it. This will be the people who like it absolutely loved it, and the people who didn't like it are probably like, why would Marvel do that? But I think that's a good way for Marvel to go in the future because eventually things are going to get old, and they know that, and they've given us a fresh new movie, which I think works really well in the universe, in the MCU, gives us a sort of break from the whole how it happens in like the big scheme, like what's always so worried about, okay, how does this movie affect everything else in the MCU? This movie doesn't really affect anything else, but it's a good standalone movie. It's something fresh and something I think comic book fans and film fans will really love and why it succeeded so much at the box office. Those are my opinions. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about why you think it's done so well in the box office to be the 11th biggest release of all time which I don't think Marvel expected. Let me know in the comments why you think that happened, whether you agree with me, disagree with me. I really appreciate all the engagement and building this uh, this movie fan group online. It's really fun. So thank you. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.